Hello, BC Calculus Rockstars. Welcome to the Number Jungle. So, today we're going to be answering this question right here, taken directly from Quick Quiz Number 7. So, we're going to be using these two Taylor series approximations extensively to answer the question. So, let's jump right in. So, for our intents, we can look at sine of x squared and cosine of x as two separate parts of the equation, making it very easy to break them into pieces and solve them individually. I'm going to be starting with sine of x squared because it's the most complicated and, you know, the most fun. So sine of x squared is going to be pretty similar to sine of x. The only difference is the squared, so we can deal with that by substitution. Using substitution in this case is pretty simple because instead of filling in these boxes here just with ones, we just switch in a two in each spot. And that now is going to be equal to sine of x squared. If we want to simplify that, it's just going to look like x squared minus x to the sixth over three factorial plus x to the tenth over five factorial. You get the idea. So now we have this beautiful little approximation for sine of x squared, and because it's just plus cosine of x, we can start to arrange all of these together. I'll do that now. So here we go. I've uh, combined the two terms sine of x squared plus cosine of x, and I've created a way so we've just got these uh, four levels of x uh, going on, and it's going to continue past this, but at this point we can begin to simplify. So we can get rid of uh, part of this and part of this and make that a heck of a lot simpler. I'll uh, create a little bit more space for that so we can end up with 1 plus 1 half of x squared, so x squared over 2 plus x to the fourth over Four factorial. And so now this is when it gets a little bit more complicated. That's going to be minus x to the sixth over six factorial, which is equal to 720. So we're going to end up with minus x to the sixth over 720. But to put this part here into the same terms as uh, this x to the sixth, I'm going to want to uh, multiply both the top and the bottom by something, which as it happens uh, to be is 120. So that's going to be minus 120 x to the sixth over 3 factorial, which uh, gets multiplied, uh, which is 6 that gets multiplied by uh, 120. So 6. Six times 120 equals 720. So then I can cancel these two out, and this all is going to be equal to minus 1, 2, 1, x to the sixth over 6 factorial. And this is particularly important because, as we can see above, we want to find f prime, f to the uh, sixth prime of uh, zero. Now, uh, we know that this isn't part of uh, the answer. Uh, we do know that this here is part of the answer, uh, because that's, um, that's all that's left for the solution. So we can tell that f of six uh, is going to be equal to negative 121. If this is still confusing, it would be good to remember that uh, each part of the Taylor series follows the format of f to some prime times x to that same uh, number over um, that number factorial. So, um, so when we see this negative 121 here, we can tell that it is the uh, 
f prime some number, and in this case that's f prime 6, which again is going to be equal to 121.